watch a Tasty Tuesday show where it's Tuesday and I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. And those are my favorite days. The days that it works. I love those days. Today we're making pulled pork sliders out of jackfruit. So not pork at all. I've seen these all over Pinterest and I have to know if it works. I have to. Like it's beyond a want. It is now a need. I need to know if it works. Lately I have been enjoying a more plant-based diet for a variety of reasons. Including, but not limited to, the fact that I've been completely and utterly fascinated by vegan cooking videos. Holy shit. These people are like mad scientists. They make like full on foods out of other foods that aren't those foods. Did you know you can make brownies out of black beans? What? It's nuts. Speaking of nuts, you can make cheese out of nuts. It's bananas. Speaking of bananas, you can eat bananas like how they are, so that's cool. Anyway, I've been so incredibly intrigued by all of these recipes that I want to try everything and I want to know, one, if I can make it, and two, if it's tasty. And not just tasty to like vegan people that came up with it, but tasty to like everyone. So, get ready for that unplanned ride. We're doing it. Whole pork sliders made out of jackfruit. Let's hit it. There were cashew nuts in my hair. How dare you not tell me they were there. Let's make this dish. First, we're gonna take two 20 ounce cans of jackfruit in brine. The recipe actually calls for a jackfruit in water, but I couldn't find jackfruit in water for the life of me, so I got it in brine. Just make sure you don't get it in syrup, because that is a different type of jackfruit, and it's not the kind that will make good sandwiches, so. Two 20 ounce cans, drain them, rinse them, chop out the core, do it. I'm so intrigued by jackfruit, I have never seen it from the can like this before. It looks like giant artichoke hearts. Wow. Fascinating. So we're gonna cut out the core part of the jackfruit and throw it away. Just we don't want it, we don't like you. The rest we're gonna put in a mixing bowl. You're supposed to also thoroughly dry your jackfruit. Totally did that, totally knew that, and doing that. Get dry. Oh my god! I have the worst luck with glass in this kitchen. This is the third glass thing I've broken this week. Ugh. All right, our jackfruit is cored and all the core is disposed of and all of our Himalayan salt shakers are broken. We don't want those, we don't need them. Get them out of there, break them. Next we're gonna add barbecue seasoning to our pork fruit. Ew, don't call it that. The barbecue seasoning is two tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon salt, not that old pink Himalayan salt though. Ew, that was so yesterday. We're doing black sea salt, cause way better. And you have it in your kitchen, not broken. Great, half teaspoon. Half teaspoon black pepper, and a half teaspoon chili powder. Okay, now we're just gonna toss that all up in this bowl. Make it all... Yummy, barbecue-y. It actually looks like big coated pieces of meat. Jackfruit's weird. You're weird, man. I don't understand you yet. Next, we're gonna take a large saucepan and heat it over medium heat. Get hot. Are you hot yet? All right, next we're gonna take your oil of choice, put one to two tablespoons in the pan, and we're gonna put our seasoned jackfruit in there, and it says toss to coat. I've never been really great at tossing. I don't know if you can tell by my rigging Himalayan salt bottles skills, but I think you just kind of go like this. Yeah, we're tossing. Now we're just gonna cook that for two to three minutes until it gets some color. What color are you supposed to be? I don't know, just let it get more color than whatever it, color it is now, probably. You know what to do. Okay, it looks like it's got some color to it now. We're gonna add three-fourths cup of barbecue sauce, any barbecue sauce. I don't know how to pick barbecue sauce, so I picked this kind. I hope it's good. Thin with enough water to make a sauce. Is this not a sauce already? Are you a sauce yet? Enough water to make a sauce. That was a sauce. You saucy. I think it's good. Yeah, you're yeah, you're definitely a sauce. Okay, now we're gonna stir it and reduce the heat to medium low. And we're gonna put a lid on it and cook for 20 minutes. There you go. Do your thing. Okay, well that's cooking, we're gonna make a coleslaw. An avocado coleslaw. An avo slaw, if you will. How do we do that? Good question. We'll find out together. It's like a team. What did I tell you? This is like mad scientist stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't look at me like I know. You know I don't know. I just broke a salt bottle. Now we're gonna take a small mixing bowl and add these ingredients. Half of a ripe avocado. How do you know if an avocado is ripe? It's a little bit soft to the touch. If you don't know what that means, be born in California and live around avocados. I don't know what to tell you. Ooh, that's sexy. This is a 
perfect avocado. Like, look at that. Damn, girl. One tablespoon of maple syrup or a sweetener of your choice. I thought I had maple syrup. I don't. I do have agave. I don't know what it's from. Guess I used it one time. Anyway, I have it. So a tablespoon. Do it. One lemon or lime juiced. This thing is so handy, I swear. I use it every day. You should buy one. I don't work for this company. But follow my referral link down below. Just kidding. Not sponsored. Salt and pepper to taste. Don't know what that means. Whenever it says that, I just kind of like go like this. Tastes good. Combine with a whisk. Okay, now thin with water until a thick sauce is made. Again, I don't know how much water to add. This seems like a thick sauce already. I don't know sauces very well in learning. What constitutes a thick sauce? Is this good? I have so many questions. I just want to do a good job. Like a tablespoon? Sure. Oh yeah, so saucy. Okay, now we're gonna add two cups of shredded cabbage and carrots or whatever coleslaw mix you got on hand. Two cups. This smells like cabbage. Definitely cabbage. Toss to coat. I'm not a good tosser. I'm just gonna stir. Don't ask me to toss. I'm just not great at that. Right, yeah. That looks like coleslaw. Cool. All right, we're gonna put this in the fridge until the time is right. Stir this occasionally and shred it with a fork as it cooks. Cool. Okay guys, once the jackfruit has been properly simmered, we're gonna turn the heat up to medium high and let it simmer for another two to three minutes. How do you like that? You thought you were done? <laughs> Think again. All right, it's been two minutes. We're gonna remove this from the heat. Oh my goodness. This actually looks like pulled pork, guys. Oh. Crazy, this is crazy. Ow, you're a fruit, you silly. All right, now you're gonna take your buns. I got these sweet Hawaiian buns because they're pretty fancy and great. I also got some ciabatta. I don't know, if you wanna be healthy, get a whole wheat one, be boring. You're gonna take your coleslaw, you're gonna put a generous portion on the bottom bun. Thank you, so generous. Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. Then a generous portion of barbecue jackfruit, of course. Oh, 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 you're everywhere. Stop, do it better. Maybe use a bigger bun, I don't know. I tried to get bigger fancy. Then we're gonna add some roasted salted cashew nuts. I roasted and salted these myself. You just toss it in olive oil and salt and put it in the oven, 350 degrees, 10 minutes. I am so talented. Wow. A couple of those on there. It's gonna be so big, you won't be able to put it in your mouth. Yeah, I probably should have gotten bigger buns. My sliders are more like sloppy joes. Oh, look at that. They look super legit. I am so stoked to try these. Wow, wow, wow. You're beautiful. Check it out, check it out, check it out. This is what it looks like up close. Oh my gosh. The camera doesn't even do this justice. This looks so delicious in person. I know what I'm gonna use you for, avocado. The side salad, yes. My eyes are super full now. All right, honey. Okay, I'm excited about this. These are- They look really good. Sliders, pulled pork sliders, but they're not made with pork, they're made with jackfruit. What is that? It's a fruit that tastes like meat. Wow, it's like really good. Not like a pulled pork sandwich, but it's really good. It's like almost a pulled pork sandwich? Yeah, it's in the zone. It tastes like a lighter, Pork sandwich. I wonder if part of that is due to like the recipe called for the jackfruit in water, but I got it in brine. I don't know if that makes a difference, but um, they're really good. Oh my goodness. These are so good. Worth it. Holy shit. Who thinks of this? I don't know. What were, where would this world be without Pinterest? This is science, dude. It's mad, si science. It's mad scientists come yeah. up with this stuff. Yeah. Tasty Tuesday. It's tasty. <laughs> Yay. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And please like me. I don't know if that's a sign to stop playing or that I'm supposed to be a Minecrafter in real life. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Hey, don't crush my dreams.